Jim Christian with Boston College joins us here in the room in Uptown Charlotte. Coach, we will set to have a quick conversation as I know that you guys have flights to catch. Uh, questions from the room? Uh, Coach, I'll ask a question here. Uh, Kai Bowman earlier today was talking about how nice it was for him to have a teammate from North Carolina in Jerome Robinson. They were really like big brother, little brother. Uh, did you see a lot of that? Did you see that pairing and maybe how that translated to a good relationship on the floor? Not as much early, um, but I think as the year went on, I think they, they kind of gained such a great respect for each other from a work ethic standpoint, from a appreciation for what the other guy was doing and, and uh, what they're trying to kind of build together. They know now, you know, they knew that they were going to be the foundation of what we did. So that naturally kind of bonds people together. And, and uh, it really helps when they're both really, really good kids. They come from great families. So yeah, it's a natural. Coach, we'll go to the uh, far left, familiar face right by the curtain. Coach, Jami DePerel, BCIMG Network. Uh, Teddy Hawkins, top recruit for you this year, coming in from Illinois State. What's he going to bring to your program? You know, he's bringing so many things that I didn't even know he could bring. I can look at statistics and see what he shot from three or how many points a game or how many rebounds a game he averaged, but that doesn't even tell the story for what he's done. He's just he's the best communicator on our team. He brings a toughness to our team um, and really an appreciation for winning. You know, he came from a program, they won 27 games. He was a pivotal part of that, and we haven't had anything like that. So, uh, you know, he's, he's been invaluable to us. Coach, what about, what about Nick Popovich's development this year? He's going to be a big front court player for you. What are you expecting? I really just, it's all about consistency with him. He had some really good moments for a freshman post player. It's not easy to play the post in this league as a freshman, but just because of the physicality of the other guys in this league. And he did a really good job, I think, um, in spurts. And now he's ready to, I think, hopefully take that next step and be consistent. He's, he's a really good post scorer, and, but his perimeter game is getting better and He's just a guy that, again, is a sophomore in this league. Um, I think he's really going to be ready to take the next step. Coach, left side, fourth row. Ryan Leonard, ACC.com. Uh, even Coach Passner was saying, was talking about how dominant your backcourt will be this upcoming season. Can you just talk about how, uh, how they will be dominant um, and the expectations you have from them? Well, the, I mean, the expectations are, are, are for them to improve as players, you know, not so much – uh, Scoring-wise, they're both good scorers, but now to let the other parts of their game flourish and develop and get other guys around them to improve their numbers. So even if the points go down and assists go up or good decisions go up, um, that's how you become a better player. It's, it's, they've, they've now proved, they know, we know they can score and it's gonna be nice that they're gonna score the ball extremely well. But now the evaluation comes down to decisions during the course of the game. And what you did uh, when the game was in the balance. That's the next step for any player, especially a young player, especially a guy like Kai's a sophomore, Jerome's going to a junior. Now when that game could be won, you were in part of that. You did all the different things to help us win, and that's how you grow, and that's how your name becomes even bigger than it is for these two guys now. Yep. Follow-up. Just a follow-up question. Yep. A little lighthearted question. Um, I look skinnier than I did on that video. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> that would be lighthearted. Um, do you uh, have any expectations on what color hair Kai Bowman will have during the season? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, I know it's not going to be black, dark black like he did for the Virginia game because he was awful, and I never want to see it again. Um, so I'm assuming he's going to go back to the traditional red, but he's yellow now. So whatever he decides to do, I don't, I, his hair, I, I, I don't care what color it is, just play. Coach, from the podium, sort of a devil's advocate question. Stats for last year's team were stats associated with that year's team. How much do comparison of stats matter from one year to the next? Well, the numbers might change, but the impactfulness of the stats. You know, there's numbers and then there's impactful numbers. And there's certain things that don't go on a stat sheet that impact winning. And I think this year's team, I think, has gained a better appreciation for that. We spent a lot of time talking about what it does take to win, what's a, what's a winning play and moments where we had opportunities to make those plays and didn't do it. And now, that's, that, now we've got to take the next step. And it's not just straight numbers. It's not points or rebounds or assists. It's what do you do in crunch time? What were you doing during that time on both ends of the floor? How vocal were you? How vocal was our team? You know, and I think, we've, you know, again, our trip in the summer 
um, the best thing that came out of it was that when the nights that we played, they went to dinner as a group all by themselves. Coaches, no coaches, no managers, nobody else. Just them talk about what they want to do this season. Talk about what they did in this game. And, that, and that's what you have to do. They have to take ownership now. They have the ability. We have the talent. They know we're going to give them a plan. And now they got to take ownership. That's the next step. So, Coach, last question, then we'll let you catch that flight. Over your left shoulder, there is an image of you. I don't know if the Much folks, skinnier. I don't know if folks at home can, can see it, but what's the trick? What was the secret? Diet. The, our strength coach says you cannot out-train a bad diet. So all the exercise guys out there, you cannot train a bad diet. Change my diet a little bit. And, and a, a wife who just relentless on making me eat the right way, but she wasn't here with me on this trip, so I have to apologize for her. <laughs> <I should. laughs> coach, have a safe flight okay, back. Okay, thank luck. you very much. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank, thank you. you. Virginia Tech up.